Hi, how's everyone doing today? It's a beautiful September day and I am candle burning. So I went to a Yankee Candle store uh, like two weeks ago just because I had seen some people post about their cafe collection and I was really sort of interested in it. Um, there are four fragrances in it. I picked out two, but I liked them all. Um, full disclosure, I have a sampling here from Yankee. I like them all. There's no, you know, hot goss. There's no tea here. I, I didn't really dislike any of the ones that I chose. Um, that said, there were some in the store that were no for me, but since it was there, I of course picked what I liked. Um, so let's get kicked off with that cafe collection and I will share what I got. So I generally don't like coffee candles. Um, to me, they still, they smell like a stale cup of coffee sometimes, like a cup of coffee that's just like been sitting out all day or something. I just, it's, it's not my favorite. Um, like Paris Cafe from Bath and Body Works, I know is one that a lot of people like, and it's just, it's not for me. Um, however, that said, this Nitro Cold Brew is fantastic. I really love it. It's giving more of sort of a, a nutty aroma, um, almost a bit chocolatey. It's so good. I absolutely love it. Uh, it's the only coffee fragrance I think I've ever smelled that I was like, I really want to take that home. So I'm happy I picked it up. That said, I don't know if this is a fall fragrance for me. If you want something cozy without any spiciness or any pumpkin apple situation, this might be a really good choice for you. Uh, it's creamy, it's nutty, and it does not smell like a stale cup of coffee. So I, I highly recommend this one. I do want to share that they had a pumpkin spice latte fragrance in the collection. That was good. That said, I'm doing a lot of pumpkin given the season. So I decided to go with something different and I picked up vanilla chai latte. And I also really like this one in terms of a coffee fragrance. It's very spicy. Um, and I wish that vanilla would come through a little bit more. It's almost leaning caramel to me but the spice is definitely at the forefront. So, and, and it is smelling like those chai spices. So I very much like this one also. I think this is a great fall fragrance. The other one in this collection was um, like a mocha peppermint, which I also thought was great. However, I was, I'm not ready for those like sort of wintry peppermint fragrances, but maybe at Christmas time, that one might be a good one to grab. So those are the two that I picked up from that collection. I do wanna share, I got these buy two, get two free. So $17 per candle, which given the size of the candle, I, I don't think is bad. Um, also wanted to say that I prefer this style of tumbler jar. I don't really like the traditional glass jar style. I seem to do better with the, the two wick situation. I think it throws better um, and burns more evenly, but whatever you're into is fine. So Yankee also had I think it was called like a bonfire type collection, um, like a camping fall collection. They had a lot of conceptual fragrances like Afternoon at the Lake, I think was one. Uh, and none of those really resounded with me except for this one, Campfire Cocktail. I could not leave the store without it. This is so good. And when I was in the store, I was kind of trying to be a little quick and I kept thinking to myself, what does this remind me of? Why do I like this so much? It reminds me of leaves. It's like leaves adjacent, but I would say it's less spicy and has like a hint of berry in it. So definitely sort of that apple cider kind of fragrance, but yes, a little less spice, a little more berry in here. So I, I really can't wait to burn this one. I think I'm really going to like it. Campfire cocktail. Very good. All right. And the last two I have are sort of what I would call Yankee fall classics. And first I'm gonna talk about Harvest. Everybody loves Harvest. Now, if you are a spice person and you really love those good clove and cinnamon fall spices, this is one for you. There's a hint of apple in there, but it's definitely spice forward. I love a good spicy candle. This is one that I will definitely burn October, November timeframe. It's so good. It's always been good. Um, I think they probably reformulated it a smidge from the original, but to my nose, I can't tell. And lastly, I did a short on this one last week because I have been burning it. I am burning Autumn Wreath. And as you can see, I'm almost done with it. I just blew it out, so I don't 
glued back on. Um, and Autumn Wreath has been around for a long time. I don't know if I've ever had this one, even years and years ago. But that said, it's apples and berries and a very little bit of cinnamon sort of at the end. But I have been loving this. Every time I light it up, I, I start smelling I'm like, oh, that is so fall and it is so good and it's perfect for September. Autumn Wreath. I love it. I've had no issues with burning. It's been pulling out perfectly. Um, throwing, I would say about a six. So not enough that it's going to overwhelm your senses, but you can definitely smell it when you walk into the space. So I think that one's been doing great. I do want to mention, I know that I think Philly Candleman had some problems with uh, one of his cafe collection candles pulling out. So I will keep an eye on that when I burn the next one and let you guys know how that goes. And I will see you guys soon with my next update. Have a great day.